欢迎来到二零二一年农历新年庆典。今年是牛年。Welcome to the Chinese New Year celebration of 2021. This is the year of the ox. 经过去年一年与新冠病毒的斗争，我们希望明年能迎来胜利的曙光。Last year we had a rough time fighting through COVID, but hopefully 2021 will be much better. 本次活动由 CGAA 和 ECBA 联合举办。现在请欣赏这段直播吧。The Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta and the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association organized this virtual Chinese New Year celebration, where there are performances, Chinese activities, and much more from the students from the Chinese bilingual programs. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thanks, Annie. 大家新年好，我是利奥中学广播电视台中文部的成员赵德明，欢迎大家收看本次线上新年庆典的直播活动。在这里，我先给大家拜个年，祝各位同学朋友们在新的一年里能健康成长、学习进步，祝所有的长辈们在新的一年里能好运连连、身体健康。利奥利奥中学王老师的十年级中英双语班级。录制了一段献给点城华埠护理院的祝福视频，希望所有的长辈们都能度过一个美好且难忘的春节。Miss Wang's Grade Ten bilingual class put together a holiday greeting video to send to Chinatown Care Center to wish seniors a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. ECBA 为点城华埠护理院和华人护理院举行了一个线上合唱的募捐活动，详情请查询 ECBA 官网以了解更多信息。ECBA organized bilingual students from different schools to sing in virtual chorus to fundraise for Chinatown Care Center and the Admin Chinese Senior Lodge. For more information, please check the official website down below. 首先，给大家带来一个中国传统关于年的故事。古时候的中国人将年看作一个一头猛兽，因此每逢春节，家家户户都会以放鞭炮的方式。来驱赶年兽，并以此祈求在新的一年中能获得好运。First of all, let me tell you the story of Nian as a warm-up. In ancient China, people regarded New Year as a monster named Nian, and they will light up some fireworks in order to chase the monster away and get good luck in the New Year. And that's it for me. Let's turn the camera to Cheryl. Thanks, Bobby. 今年是牛年。中国生肖说，每十二年作为一个轮回，有十二种动物，分别代表不一样的年份。这年是牛年。上个牛年是二零零九年，十二年以前。This year, 2021, is the year of the ox. According to traditional Chinese zodiac, there's a 12-year cycle in which there are 12 different animals, each representing a separate year. This year is the year of the ox, and the last year of the ox was in 2009, 12 years ago. 每个动物代表不一样的性格特质。这年的牛代表有耐心、友好和保守的人。如果你二零零二年出生的，你属马；二零零三年属羊；二零零四属猴子；二零零五年属鸡和二零零六年属狗。Every animal in year represents different personality traits of those born in that year. Those who are born in the year of the ox represent patience, kindness, and a conservative nature. If you're born in 2002, your zodiac is the horse. 2003 being the sheep. 2004 is the monkey, and 2005 represents the rooster. And 2006 is the dog. Now let's send it over to Stephanie. Thank you, Cheryl. 新年那段时间，在西贸的滑冰场上会举办中国传统物品店，专门卖一些中国的服饰、首饰等等。当前疫情比较严重，所以这些仪式都被取消了。In Edmonton, we have a Chinese New Year shop at the skating rink located in West Edmonton Mall. It's tremendously interesting to get to see the different Chinese cultures and ancient Chinese crafts. Due to the current situation of COVID, these celebrations are cancelled. 在新年当天，一家人和朋友会聚集在一起吃晚饭。
，然后聊聊新年愿望，顺便一起看春节联欢晚会。由于目前疫情的情况，这些仪式都被取消了。On the day of the Chinese New Year, families can gather together to have dinner to celebrate the upcoming New Year. During the current pandemic, it's highly unlikely for us to gather and have supper together. Now let's go get the camera back to Bobby. 谢谢 Stephanie， 利奥中学电视台负责本次直播的介绍工作。感谢 Annie 孙、Stephanie 陈、Cheryl 薛、Bobby 赵、Angela Torres、Angela 红、Carolina Almeida、Mr. O 和 Mrs. Wang 对本次直播所做出的指导和努力。精彩纷呈的新年庆典内容会在稍后为大家带来。This intro video is produced by Lila Nas from High School. Stay tuned after the credit as we will go live to the set of this year's Chinese New Year celebration. Appreciate to Annie Sun, Stephanie Chen, Cheryl Xue, Bobby Zhao, Angel Torres, Angela Hong, Carolina Almeida, Mr. O, and Mrs. Wang. Happy Lunar New Year! Wow, thank you, Lillian Osborne News Group. Uh, William, they are so equipped. Uh, definitely not what I have here in my place. A million times better than what I have here, too. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to our first ever virtual online celebration of the 2021 Lunar New Year Festival, celebrating the Year of the Ox, sponsored by Kingsway Mall in. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I have to remember that we may have people from all around the world watching it now that it's online. Well, for today, my name is Michelle. My name is William. And we are your MCs for today. We'd like to start by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional meeting grounds, gathering place and traveling route of the Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, Métis, Diné, and Nakota Sioux. We acknowledge all of the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Thanks for that, Michelle. You know, this has been a really challenging year for many of us, whether it's the economy, social isolation, or even lo losing loved ones. But we won't let that hold us back from celebrating. Safely, of course. You know, in the spirit of the new year, we hope to spread some cheer with memories of the past and present with this virtual festival, as well as really showcase the efforts and resilience of our community. Yes, William, and we want to emphasize that some videos are from previous years, so please don't be alarmed if you see performances that aren't socially distanced. We usually run this festival in person every year in shopping malls across the city, but the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta, CGAA, and the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association, ECBEA, along with an amazing, amazing, amazing team of local Edmonton volunteers stepped up and within a few weeks put together this show and website together from scratch. Yeah, this is a two day long celebration for today and tomorrow from 12 to 5 p.m. MST. There's gonna be performances here in the main room for the next five hours or so, um, with links on the website to a wide range of breakout rooms. So that includes inter uh, interactive games, cultural demonstrations, and panel discussions too. We have two panel discussions today uh, one is on Chinese-Canadian intergenerational conversations and one on Chinese-English bilingual education. Tomorrow's panels are on Lunar New Year memories and building a strong Chinese community. Yeah, and I even heard there are games like Among Us, Pictionary, and even Mahjong. Um, 
The ECBA scholarships and awards ceremony will also take place during the show. The schedule is up on the website, so feel free to check it out anytime. Like Lillian Osborne News Group also mentioned, we are having a silent auction up on the website as well. We have gift cards, autographed book set from Marty Chan, who is a well-loved local author, traditional Chinese calligraphy and brush paintings, and lots more. All proceeds will be going towards the Edmonton Chinatown Care Center and the Edmonton Chinese Seniors Lodge. There is a direct uh, do donation option as well. Yeah, our care center and seniors lodge um, were very much impacted by the pandemic. The staff shortage got so bad that families actually had to step in to help with the caretaking. At this point, I think every bit of support would be very much appreciated um, and it would mean a lot for the families. Um, on another note though, for those of you in Edmonton, our amazing volunteers prepared some Lunar New Year craft packages that can be picked up at Kingsway Mall's guest experience kiosk. And it's a perfect weekend activity for families with young kids. Um, but before you go, make sure you call the kiosk just to make sure they have some available. Okay, everyone, we are getting close to starting the program, but first, our national anthem performed by Miss Zoe Yi. Thank you so much, Zoe. Great job. Up next, we invite Hong Moon Athletic Association to officially start off our program with Lion Dance to deliver us great happiness, fortune, and health. And don't forget to scare away the bad luck and evil spirits. Uh, 2021 is our year, or I, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Athletic Club and we're here to perform for the Lunar New Year of 2021. We're wishing everybody a happy year of the ox. Sunling Fai La Gung Hei Fat Choi Sun Tai Gin Hong. Enjoy everybody!
Wishing everyone a prosperous new year and, and good health in the year of the ox. Happy New Year, everybody.
Grown Hey Fat Choy. Happy New Year. Grown Hey Fat Choy. Sun Tai Yi Hong. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Ooh, things are getting exciting. So Hong Moon is a non-profit organization dedicated to teaching the traditional Fat San style of lion dance um, under head coach Catherine Wong. So they're actually supported by the Global Chinese Freemasons, a society that fought for justice, peace, and prosperity dating back to the Qing Dynasty. Um, but next up, we will have some Lunar New Year greetings from our event organizers. Hi, I'm Fred Locke, and I'm the president of the Chinese Graduate Association of Alberta. I'm so pleased to join with the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association to host the 2021 Year of the Ox at the Kingsway Mall. All virtually, the Ox symbolize hardworking, reliability, intelligence, and that represent the group that put this event together. Congratulations to all organizations, volunteers, students, leaders, and the more officials to make this event a total success. I wish the very, very best to everyone for a successful year, full of achievements and good results. Thank you, everyone. Have a great lunar year of the Ox celebration. Gong Chi Fa Chai. Gong Hei Fa Chai. Gong Si Fa Chai. Gong Hei Fa Chai. Happy Chinese New Year to everyone here today. We welcome a special guest and representative of all levels of governments, and of course, you here today to be part of this incredible virtual event to celebrate with us the Lunar New Year of the Ox. And hope you will enjoy watching our talent students from our program school from across the city. Association of Parents, we're proud to showcase the many talents and skills that our children have learned over the years with the guidance of the teachers and instructors in our school and after school programs. Thank you to all the teachers and instructors for giving our children these skills. Also, today we're celebrating virtually our ECBA 12th Annual Scholarship Award Ceremony to recognize outstanding students who have excelled in spite of many uncertainty and unforeseen circumstances. We'd like to thank Kingsway Garden Mall for sponsoring this event and our partner, the Chinese Graduate Association of Alberta for this fantastic opportunity to work together. We'd like to thank the amazing team of volunteers, parents, alumni, and students and educators for helping out at this event. Thank you to Caroline Wang, event chair, Ashton Wong, co-chair, planning committee members, and executive board members for their time and hard work in putting together this fantastic virtual event celebration. And now, sit back and enjoy the many activities, crafts, games, performance, cooking demos, discussion panel, and awards presentation. Wishing everyone good health, happiness, and prosperity in the Year of the Ox. Thank you. Welcome everyone. It is my great honor to welcome you all to this 2020 Lunar New Year celebration in this Year of the Ox. My name is Bo Tarasenko. I am the marketing manager at Kingsway and it's my pleasure to be involved in this wonderful event for the third year running. Every year it seems that this Lunar New Year celebration grows and grows and even in this very challenging time, the incredible people at the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association and the Chinese Graduate Students Association of Alberta have found a way to keep it growing and even take it global. So no matter where you are tuning in from this year, I hope that you find a way to come together here to celebrate culture, celebrate education, celebrate community, feel like a part of something, 
and really to support some great causes. So I would like to wish you all, and I hope you will forgive my pronunciation, but I am trying my best. I would like to wish you all a Gongxi Fa Sai, and perhaps in 2021, especially this year, Shen Qi Jian Kang. Thank you all, and welcome. And next we have Justin Trudeau and other officials with some warm greetings for us. Please stay tuned, we will start all of our performances shortly after these greetings. Dear friends, I am pleased to extend my warmest greetings to everyone taking part in today's virtual Lunar New Year celebration, hosted by the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta and the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association. This year, Chinese communities in Canada and around the world will welcome the Year of the Ox. We leave behind a long and difficult year, but Canadians are, at our core, a strong and determined people who persevere through challenges and know that it is always possible to find positivity in difficult times. In this new year, let us not only look back at how far we have come, but also look forward to a future filled with good health, happiness, and prosperity for all. While this year's festivities will certainly look different due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, this occasion still offers a wonderful opportunity to exchange warm wishes and give thanks for one's blessings. For all Canadians, it is a chance to recognize the tremendous contributions that Canadians of Chinese descent have made and continue to make to our nation in all fields of endeavor. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I wish everyone celebrating all the best in the year ahead. Dajiao 我们一起经历新冠疫情但我们绝不轻言放弃再次祝愿大家牛年大吉万事如意 Hi, it's Kerry Diot, Member of Parliament for Edmonton Griesba. I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, Happy New Year in this Year of the Ox. All the best from our official opposition Conservatives and our leader, Aaron O'Toole. Happy New Year. As 2020 comes to an end, I want to take a moment to greet you a Happy Lunar New Year 2021. May this year of the ox terminate all your troubles 2020 had brought into our lives and bring peace worldwide. I sincerely wish you happiness, cheerfulness, success, and many precious moments with your loved ones in the upcoming year. Let the persistent nature of the ox reflect in our life to help us fulfill all of our goals. Niao. Good afternoon. My name is Ziad Abultaev. I'm the Member of Parliament for Edmonton Manor. It is an honor to join you today virtually, unfortunately, with the Chinese Graduate Association of Alberta. The, that is the Edmonton Bilingual Education Association and the Edmonton Chinese Community for the brightest and greatest Lunar New Year celebrations. 
Please accept my wishes, my best wishes for the all upcoming gatherings and celebrations happening across the country as you welcome the Lunar New Year with centuries long of cultural tradition. May the year of the ox be of good health, peace and prosperous for you and for your loved one. And may God fortune smile down on all of you. Gang hai, fight choy. On behalf of the government of Alberta, it is my pleasure to send greetings to this online event for the Lunar New Year of the Ox. The start of a new year brings with it the promise of a fresh beginning. In these challenging times, it is more important than ever that we cherish these creative ways to come together in celebration of better days ahead. I hope everyone in attendance enjoys this wonderful showcase of culture and heritage and an opportunity to connect as a community, even while we are physically distant. Thank you to the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta, the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association, and Kingsway Mall for working together to make this event possible and help us keep Albertans safe. Good luck to all the participants and performers, and best wishes to everyone for a happy, healthy, and hopeful new year. Hi there everyone. Before I begin, I would like to recognize that Edmonton is on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional home to Alexander First Nation, Alexis Nakota Sioux Nation, Enoch Cree Nation, Whitefish Lake First Nation, and Paul First Nations. This land also has a deep and important significance for the Métis people of Alberta Region 4. I'm so honored to join all of you at home for this virtual celebration of the Lunar New Year. I know this is usually a time to gather with family and friends from near and far. We typically would welcome the New Year together, making way for good fortune and good health in the coming year. I'm just so glad that we can still celebrate together in the spirit, if not in person. This event is full of traditional dances, cooking demonstrations, storytelling and craft making and is a beautiful way to celebrate the traditions in a really new way. It shows the creativity and resilience of the Chinese community here in Alberta. We are entering the Year of the Ox, a symbol of hard work, honesty and perseverance. There are brighter days ahead of us and these values will serve all of us well as we work toward recovery together. Thank you so much for finding these wonderful new ways to celebrate Lunar New Year. And thank you as well to the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta and the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association for hosting this event. May this new year bring you prosperous fortune, good health, and an auspicious year ahead. Gong Shi Fa Chai. Fijan 也看到了地方有难发生支援的善举预祝今晚的活动圆满成功 Hey everyone! Happy Lunar New Year! I'm Janice Irwin, I'm the NDP MLA for Edmonton Highlands Norwood and I'm also so proud to represent a large part of Chinatown in my riding as well. It's so exciting this year that the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association as well as the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta have teamed up to offer Lunar New Year celebrations virtually. I sure know that I'm going to miss uh, seeing the lion dancers and everybody else come together and perform in person, but next year I know we will come back stronger than ever. So to all the volunteers, the organizers, the performers, thank you. 
your hard work and your service does not go unnoticed. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Gung Hei Fat Choi. Take care and thanks again. 大家好,新年快乐! Happy New Year, everybody! And to all of you celebrating at home with the ECBEA, as an alumni of the ECBEA, I know how important the celebration is and how exciting it is, um, and this year we're doing it a little bit differently. Most of us are at home, we're trying to stay safe, and we're not going to be seeing our families in, in, in the way that, that we normally would for the celebration. But Lunar New Year is about more than just getting together with your family and friends and having big dinners. Lunar New Year is about celebrating the opportunities and hopefulness that we have for the year ahead. And the year ahead this year is the year of the ox. And as you know, the, the ox is a loyal and hardworking uh, symbol and, and piece of the zodiac. So what that means is that I'm optimistic this year that through all of our hard work together, we're going to get through this difficult year and, and hopefully we'll be on the other side of this pandemic and next year we can celebrate New Year's in person. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Gong Hei Fa Choi. Gong Xi Fa Tai. On behalf of my city council colleagues in the city of Edmonton, it's my pleasure to help celebrate Lunar New Year and ring in the Year of the Ox. Though many of us cannot physically be together with our families and friends this year, I hope that you will continue to celebrate with the same fervor and festivity. I'll certainly miss being out and about in the community to celebrate with you, but my family and I will, like you, definitely mark the new year at home. Edmonton's Chinese community has been here for more than a century, and it is the elders and pioneers whom I'm thinking of today and whom I honor today. Too many of them are no longer with us due to this pandemic, but I'm greatly appreciative of the support and care that their families and the wider community and caregivers have provided in recent months. This pandemic's end is hopefully in sight, but for now, please remember to maintain your distance, wash your hands, and stay home. But may the year of the ox bring us all good health, prosperity, and fortune. I know it's hard that we're unable to gather to celebrate this Lunar New Year, but I know that by doing this virtual event, we have the opportunity to make sure we'll be able to celebrate many more into the future. So I wanna wish all of you a happy, healthy, and prosperous Lunar New Year. Gang Hei Fa Choi. Happy New Year! Thank you for allowing me to join you and wishing everyone a Happy Lunar New Year. This is the year of the ox and may you all be hardworking, reliable, and intelligent as those who are born in this special year. Every culture is important and adds to the rich fabric of our city, so it is with great pleasure that I'm able to participate today. I have had the privilege to participate many times and see many talented performers celebrating the Lunar New Year. The beauty, sounds, and symbolism always amazes me. I wish everyone health, wealth, and good fortune. I'm John Zadig, the Ward 3 City Councillor, and it's my pleasure to be here today to help celebrate Lunar New Year and bring in the Year of the Ox. And this is how I'm going to bring in the New Year, the Year of the Ox. So for those celebrating Lunar New Year, don't play, catch on. is important to communities across Ward 3 and across the city of Edmonton and I'm, I'm happy to be here to help celebrate in the beautiful new Moi Kwa Buddhist Temple here on 153rd Avenue. COVID-19 has provided no shortages of challenges with the way that we celebrate important cultural events and, uh, and celebrations but it's great that we are all able to assemble here virtually and still get a taste of what Lunar New Year celebrations should be like. Edmonton is home to people from all over the world and the sharing of our cultures and traditions is part of what makes our city so vibrant. As we see here today we have a strong Chinese community and they are no exception to that rule with the rich traditions that they bring. I would like to thank the Chinese Graduate Association of Alberta the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association, and the hardworking volunteers, the many Chinese community organizations, performers, and sponsors for putting together this virtual celebration. I'm truly looking forward to the numerous activities planned over this weekend. I wish everyone a very happy new year. May the Year of the Ox bring you fortune, prosperity, and success. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Hamilton and I'm your City Councillor for Ward 5 here in Edmonton. It's my pleasure to help you mark the Year of the Ox. Lunar New Year is a 
time to find ways to celebrate, to reflect on the accomplishments and the challenges of the years that have passed, and to look ahead to the coming year with optimism and hope. Uh, being that we're moving into the year of the ox, which I was born in the year of the ox, I've been reading and understanding that the year of the ox is associated with qualities of honesty, reliability, and hard work. And I'm sure you can all agree we've got a lot of hard work ahead of us. So I'm grateful for community-minded people like you who help us take on that hard work. Have a wonderful Lunar New Year. Enjoy the spirit of the season and gung hoi fat choy. Thank you for all the lovely messages. It's amazing to hear and to have support from people all across the country. All right, with that, William, are you ready for performances? Because I am. Definitely ready and excited for our first performance where we have a local music teacher, Carolyn, who worked her butt off to pull together members of the community, um, students from different schools, to sing us a few songs. So first up uh, from this group is Memories by Maroon 5, The Twist. Memories bring back memories. 
some rising local talent in there as well, like Jen Tomsky who has also been active on YouTube in promoting Chinese culture and have caught the attention of hundreds of thousands of people overseas. Next, the Edmonton Chinese Philharmonica Association is a non-profit organization formed in 2001 that strives to unite individuals interested in traditional Chinese music, assist charitable organizations in their activities and fundraising events, promote cultural exchange, and cultivate interest in Chinese music among the younger generation. Please enjoy the performance of Full of Joy by Xi Yang Yang. Hi everyone, on behalf of the Edmonton Chinese Philharmonica Association, we want to wish everyone a happy and prosperous Year of the Ox. Thank you everyone so much for your support, and again, we hope you enjoy our performance. Next up, we have Eva Jia Xiaolan from the Confucius Institute of Edmonton, performing the solo dance Early Rain in Lin An. You'll see more of her later too, as she's recently been the dance teacher at Ross Shepherd High School. Enjoy!
You have to celebrate the Lunar New Year with food, so if you enjoy cooking, you have to follow along to the sweet and sour pork recipe from Stephen Sang's Kitchen. Jingqing Athletic Society focuses on the teachings of Southern Chinese line dance and drumming. Led by Master Chun Li as well as husband and wife Master Thomas Chu and Ali Han, the troupe is also the first in Canada to join the International Kun Seng Kang Alliance, which extends to 13 other countries around the world. The group is divided into a junior group consisting of members from ages 5 to 13, and a senior group with members of all ages who have over 5 years of experience with this troupe. Please enjoy the following show that was first performed live at the 2020 Year of the Rat celebrations.
next we have Yang Yaohua from the Chinese Senior Dramatic Club of Edmonton. He is a popular singer within the community and has performed at many Chinese community functions. He will be performing Success in My Hands, Sheng Li Shuang Shou Shuang, a Cantonese pop song. Hi, everyone. Next, we have another performance from the ECBEA 35th anniversary in 2018. The following is Lady Song, Long Sleeve, and Rhythm of Umbrella by the Chinese dance classes from Roslyn, Londonderry, and Ross Shepherd.
Next, we have Zinging Martial Arts bringing best wishes for the Lunar New Year with a collection of their previous performances. Zinging Martial Arts wishes everyone a happy Chinese New Year's. This year is the year of the ox and we wish you and your family love, joy, happiness, and health. We are fortunate to be part of this year's virtual celebration at Kingsway Mall. Jingyi Martial Arts is a non-profit organization that teaches contemporary martial arts, Wing Chun, kickboxing, and lion dance. We accept anyone age 5 and up. We also represent Team Canada on many national and international competitions all around the world.
Next up, we have an elementary class from Metal Arc School, sharing their performance to the very popular Lunar New Year tune, Gong Xi Gong Xi. They are already so adorable as is. Imagine how cute they'd be without their masks on. Enjoy. An artistic way to bring in the Lunar New Year. Watch as Kaylee Tam uses watercolors to create a painting of an ox. 你好，我的名字是 Kaylee Tam， 我是来自 Lillian Osborne High School。因为今年是牛年，我给大家画了一幅牛年的画，希望你们会喜欢。祝大家新年快乐，身体健康。Have an adorable performance from students in kindergarten to grade two of Park Allen School. The ECBEA celebrated the 35th anniversary in 2018. The following is a past performance from the McNally Dragon and Lion Dance Group during the gala.
Next up, we have Elena Chen, founder of the Maple Art Society, performing a Gu Zheng and flute duet with her son. The Maple Art Society sincerely welcomes all those interested in cultural exchange. Please enjoy. From the Heart Studio, the calligrapher composed a poem after receiving a photo of a night scenery of the Hong Kong Harbor from a friend. This calligraphy piece will be auctioned off at the event. Be sure to visit our auction section on our website at lunarnewyearyeg.ca.
Chinese paper cutting or jianzhi is a millennia-old traditional folk art. It is characterized by intricate designs and creative use of negative space. Please feel free to follow along with Frank Liu from the Confucius Institute in Edmonton as he creates a heart-shaped double happiness symbol. Hello, 大家好，我是 Adam Wu 红字学院的刘强飞。今天我们来剪一个变形的双喜。我们需要的材料有剪刀、铅笔和一张正方形的红纸。好，首先我们拿一张正方形的红纸，先边对边对折，然后呢，两边反向对折。是一个 M 的形状，然后我们沿着 M 的顶端开始画，先画下来，然后呢，画一个波浪的形状。这里画一个半椭圆，这里画一个回旋图案。这样阴影画好了，下面我们把阴影部分剪掉。好，我们从下方开始剪，先剪外围，沿着线剪就可以了。剪的时候不要着急。慢慢来。要这个半椭圆形，然后剪掉这个回旋。
大漂亮的心形双喜，就剪好了。ICPA offers free lessons in Chinese cultural activities and martial arts for children from 8 to 18. It is an opportunity to explore children's potential and enrichment through mental and physical cultural education. ICPA awards annual scholarships to students who display outstanding determination and dedication to their education. Please enjoy their following performance of Water Battle in The Legend of the White Snake, a Cantonese opera. Twenty twenty one is the year of the ox, and we here at ICPA are honored to participate in the show presented by the Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta and the Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association and the Kingsway Mall to welcome in the new year with this performance. The Institute of Cultural Performing Arts is here to wish everyone a wonderful new year, good health, good fortune, and a happy life. In honor of the year of the ox. The Institute of Cultural Performing Arts will perform a water battle and demonstration of Cantonese opera martial arts fighting.
Yo-Yo School of Dancing was established in Edmonton in 2011, and teaches not only Chinese dance but also ballet, jazz, hip hop, and K-pop classes, as well as 15 varieties of adult dance and fitness classes. Please enjoy the following spring dance from the 2018-2019 Yo-Yo School of Dance Gala. Not only is Mr. Ryan Liu a Chinese opera connoisseur, but he makes delicious deep-fried pork dumplings. Let's check it out. 
Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and today I'll be sharing with you a recipe from my grandmother for one of my favorite New Year's treats. It's a deep fried pork dumpling called ham gai gong. It's a popular pastry originating from the Toy San and Hoi Ping region of Guangdong, China. Like most recipes from grandmothers, it is more a list of ingredients instead of precisely measured amounts. So let's begin. First, we'll be making our filling. The filling has ground pork, karaobi, jicama, Chinese sausage, water chestnut, salted radish, peas, and shallots. If you can't find karaobi, you can substitute it with broccoli stems. They have a very similar taste and texture. I'm using both for this video. Some people like to put dry shrimp or Chinese mushrooms in the filling. However, I'm leaving it out for this video. Finally, dice all the ingredients. Once everything is diced, it's time to start cooking. In a large wok, add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. When it's hot, place the ground pork in and saute it. When it's 90% cooked, scoop out the ground pork into a bowl and drain the liquid and grease. Add another 2 tablespoons of cooking oil to the wok and add the shallots to the hot wok and saute. Then add in the kohlrabi, broccoli stems, and jicama and pour some water into the wok and cover it and let the steam help cook the ingredients. Next, we'll add in the water chestnut, salted radish, and Chinese sausage. Add the pork back into the wok. And lastly, we'll put in the peas. For seasoning, add some soy sauce, white pepper, salt, and sugar. Give it a good mix and taste the filling. Adjust the flavors as needed. Now we'll need to let the filling cool down completely before we make our dumplings. I like to make the filling the night before and store it in a colander to allow any excess liquid to drain out like pictured here. Now we can start making our dough. I'll be showing you two types of dough today. One is salty and the other is sweet. First for the salty one, we'll be using glutinous rice flour in the green bag and rice flour in the red bag. Pour the entire bag of glutinous rice flour in a bowl. Next, we'll take a Chinese soup spoon and measure out a heaping scoop of rice flour and add it to the bowl. Add about one teaspoon of salt into the bowl as well. Mix the flour and add about one and three quarter cup of hot water. Add the water gradually and keep mixing while doing so. Once the water is poured in, use your hands to knead the mixture to form a dough. Be careful as it may still be hot. The dough should be smooth and not too sticky. Now portion out the dough. This dough recipe should allow you to make about 18 to 20 dumplings. Cover the dough with a damp cloth to avoid it from drying out. Now for the sweet dough. We call this one hiem tei ham ham, meaning sweet pastry and salty filling. It will be the same steps as the other dough, except we'll eliminate the salt and replace it with one and a half sticks of cane sugar. Dissolve it in about one and three quarters cup of hot water. Microwaving the sugar and water will make this step a lot quicker. Strain out any undissolved pieces of sugar. Now follow the same steps as previously mentioned to form the dough. Take a portion of the dough and roll it into a ball. Press the ball in a little bit of sesame and flatten it using your hands. Using your thumbs, flatten the dough in a circular motion. You'll end up with a circle. Take a scoop of the filling and place it in the dough. 
fold up one side of the dough to the other side and pinch the edges together. And there you have your formed dumpling. I cover the formed dumplings with a damp cloth so they don't dry out. For deep frying, pour cooking oil into the wok. You'll want it on medium-high heat. You can test the oil to see if it's hot enough by placing a wooden chopstick into the bottom of the wok. If you see bubbles rapidly coming up, that means the oil is ready to go. Place the dumplings into the oil one at a time and try to keep them from sticking to the bottom of the wok or to each other. Make sure that both sides of the dumplings are getting fried evenly. It should take about 4 to 5 minutes to be fully cooked. The salty ones will have a yellowish white color to them and the sweet ones will be a golden brown. And there you have it, Ham Kai Rong, one of my favorite pastries for the new year. A nice crispy exterior with a savory filling. Thanks for watching my video. I wish everyone good health and good fortune in the new year. Tian Mi Mi is a well-known Chinese classic by Teresa Tang. The name of the song literally translates to very sweet, but is also known as sweet as honey or sweet on you. Another famous love song is a ballad by Fei Wang called Hong Do or Red Bean, which is a symbol of love in Chinese culture. Chinese mythology tells a tale of a woman who waited for her husband to return from war. As she wept every day in vigil, her tears turned to blood and trickled onto the ground, hardening into red beans. Red beans have come to represent love, fidelity, and commitment. Here is Zoe Yi, a grade 10 student in the Mandarin Chinese Bilingual Program at Ross Shepherd High School, with Teresa Tang's Tian Mi Mi and Fei Wang's Hong Dou. 你好,我叫于伟林,这首歌叫甜蜜蜜 Hi, I'm Zoe and this is Tian Mi Mi or Sweet as Honey.
你好，我叫尤伟林。Hi, I'm Zoe. 这首歌叫《红豆》。This song is called Red Bean. Next, we have the blue and white porcelain dance from the Ottawa Chinese Dance Class. This is a past performance at the Chinese New Year Singing and Dancing Gals at the Triple Theater of McEwen University on February 18, 2018.
，冉冉檀香透过窗，心事我了然。宣纸上走，笔至此各一半。有色渲染，仕女同女为被私藏，而你嫣然的一笑，如寒到北方。你的美一缕飘散，去到我去不了的地方。Checking out the breakout rooms and playing online mahjong is surprisingly addicting. <laughs> Winning lots, I hope, William. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like people are having fun in the activities section of the website. Earlier on in the weeks, our volunteers have put together craft packages for families with young children to pick up at Kingsway Mall.、Um, William, I really love this idea. I miss all those like arts and crafts. Yeah, we're really blessed here in Edmonton. Through the Chinese bilingual program, and have everything from lion dance and Chinese dance to poetry and paper cutting. <laughs> yeah, I loved how our teachers taught us how to make those mooncakes and dumplings. Food is such an important part of our New Year celebration, where different dishes can symbolize different things and mean different things. So, for example. Nian Nian You Yi, which means every year is prosperous, so we need to eat a、uh, so we need to eat a whole fish. And there's Zhao Cai Jin Bao, which means bringing in wealth, <laughs> so we eat those dumplings. Yeah, 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 yeah. To make more money. <laughs>、yeah. That's why I love Lunar New Year, though. It's like the only time I feel like eating more will make me go broke. Oh, money and health. Health is important too. Okay. Enough talk. We have a special video from the ECBA 35th Anniversary Gala Archives. So this video is not taken during the pandemic. It is a line dance collaboration by five different schools. We have Londonderry, Parkview, Roslyn, Ross Shepherd, and Emmy Lizard.
Next, we have Li Ying, an alumni of the Chinese bilingual program, a current U of A student, and a very, very talented local musician. Today, she's bringing to us her cover of Canon Rock on the Arhu, also known as the Chinese violin with two strings.
The Edmonton Beijing Opera Association was founded in 2002. It is a non-profit artistic group with the purpose to inherit, promote, and expand the traditional Chinese art of Beijing opera. Not only do they work hard to spread awareness and knowledge of traditional operas, but also work to promote and strengthen the cultural exchanges between China and the cities of North America. In 2007, they successfully invited the Mei Lanfang Beijing Opera Troupe, led by the master of Beijing Opera, Mei Baojiu. With 45 opera artists performing plays such as The Drunken Cucumber, The 18 Disciples Fight the Monkey King at the Jubilee Theatre. Here we have Peggy Yu with best wishes for the Lunar New Year and a special performance, Goodbye COVID. <laughs> Up next, we have a cut from the Jihong Wushu and Tai Chi College's 30th anniversary. Jihong Wushu Tai Chi College is Canada's largest Chinese martial arts institution. 31 years ago, Master Luo and Master Gu established the first Jihong College in Edmonton. Today, the college has expanded across Canada with seven branches in Alberta, BC, and Ontario. For the past 30 years, Jihong has fostered large numbers of elite athletes. Over 70 students have represented Canada's national team and hundreds of medals have been won at the World Championships as well as other international competitions. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Gu from the Jihong Wushu and Tai Chi College. 
I would like to wish everyone a healthy, happy, and prosperous Lunar New Year. 新年好，我是古代娟，我代表基隆武术太极拳学院，恭祝大家新年身体健康，万事如意，恭培发财。
的预测，甚至庄严的什么人消策，更加善意的理由如何？只敢跟我背上你的，我的，全交了的，却那个图纸却没一个，成功难测，谁最强者？谁在你痛苦里的资格？We have Jacqueline Mok, who is an Emmy Lazard alumni of the Chinese Bilingual Program. She is currently a student at the U of A with cooking as a hobby. Be sure to follow along as she demonstrates how to make crystal tangyuan. Hi, as some of you may already know, Chinese New Year or Zhongguo Xinyan follows the lunar calendar and takes place on February 21st of 2021 this year, which makes us the Year of the Ox. Now, on this special occasion, many families like to enjoy a very special dessert called Tangyuan, which we will be making today. And the direct translation of Tangyuan is actually a soup ball, but it takes the meaning of a similar Chinese phrase, which is Tangyuan, and that means the togetherness and gathering of families. Instead of making the traditional Tangyuan, which uses glutinous flour, we're going to be using tapioca flour to make crystal Tangyuan, or straightening Tangyuan. And the difference between the two is that straightening Tangyuan is a lot chewier and it's actually transparent so you can see the filling on the inside. And for those of us who have not eaten Tangyuan before, I would describe them as mochi-like dumplings stuffed with sweet fillings such as red bean, black sesame, lotus, peanuts, or even yams. And then they are served with a ginger syrup broth. So let's see how we do it.
This traditional dessert is not only enjoyed on Chinese New Year, but also on other occasions such as the Winter Solstice Festival, on weddings, or even casually with family. And lastly, I just want to wish everyone a year of good health, prosperity, and happiness. Next, we have Dine, the Peacock Dance, performed by students of Ross Shepherd High School. The Peacock Dance is the most famous dance in the Dai minority area of Yunnan Province, China. In Dai people's hearts, the peacock is the symbol of beauty, happiness, and luck. Please enjoy. Patricia Yu studied and worked in Canada before returning to work in Hong Kong. But in 1998, she returned to settle back in Edmonton. 
After retiring in 2008, she spent a lot of time writing and producing gospel lyrics to accompany popular Chinese opera and pop songs. These songs were shared with different church and Chinese community groups. Please enjoy her performance of The Legend of the Purple Hairpin, Zi Chai Ji, a Cantonese opera. Sing 
埋头相思猜，便知我今非是非。我识那奴家小姐，佢在你城里龙吟。Chinese dough art dates back to the Han Dynasty. Traditionally, dough art is made from glutinous rice and colorings. The final product is edible, although that's not recommended nowadays as there could be additives used to promote the art's longevity. Detailed figurines are created with delicate techniques such as pinching, rolling, and cutting. Thin bamboo can also be used to dexterously place, cut, engrave, and shape body parts of the figurine. Please welcome Betty Chen. An instructor from the Confucius Institute in Edmonton, as she creates a rabbit using these dough art techniques. 亲爱的同学们，你们好，我是爱德蒙顿孔子学院的老师陈杰，欢迎大家一起学习念诵系列课程。先来看一下做面的配方，需要面粉九百克。玉米淀粉二百二十五克，糯米粉四百克，盐二百五十克，开水一千二百克，甘油一百二十五克，蜂蜜五至六勺。这些就是我们所需要的原材料。家里没有搅拌机的话，只能用手和面了。所有的原料称好以后，充分搅拌均匀
，将面团包好，静置五十分钟，上锅蒸五十分钟。面团冷却以后上色，各种颜色的面团就做好了。我们所需要的材料主要有面，或者橡皮泥、小刀、竹签。还有塑料板，或者是比较硬的卡片。我们今天一起学习如何做卡通兔子。取白色的面，和面，揉成圆球形。取黑色的面，揉成两个小圆球，压扁，贴在头部。取一点白色的面，揉成两个小球，非常小。贴在眼睛上，取一点黑色的面，揉成细线。揉成很细的线，取一块用竹签。画出他的笑脸，取一点粉色的面，揉成两个小圆球。贴在脸上，取白色的面，揉成两个圆球。再揉成水滴的形状，取粉色的面，揉成胡萝卜的形状。把粉色的面贴在上面，轻轻压一下
，用竹签扎两个洞。把耳朵插进去，取白色的面，和面，揉成球形。揉成水滴的形状，再取一点白色的面，揉成两个胡萝卜的形状。贴在身体的两侧，取白色的面，揉成两个小圆球，用刀切两下，取一点粉色的面。揉成长条，揉成四个小圆球。再揉四个小圆球将脚贴在身体下面，取一点白色的面，揉成球形，贴在后面，做它的小尾巴。取一点橙色的面，我们把它揉成胡萝卜的形状。刀，刻几条线，取一点绿色的面，我们揉成三个小水滴的形状。我们把三个小水滴贴在胡萝卜上。将做好的胡萝卜
贴在小白兔的身体上。这样，小白兔的身体就做好了。我们用一根竹签把它插起来，把身体和头部贴在一起。谢谢大家。我们下次课再见。The Wellness Sport Club is a nonprofit association established since 2013. They practice Tai Chi and its related principles, led by instructors Ken Chu, Kala Li, Yuan Lam, Mary Bong, and Lisa Ji. This group meets every Monday to Friday morning between 8:30 to 10 a.m. at Southgate Shopping Center. They also offer the performances and Tai Chi exercises to several hospitals, nursing homes, and community centers. Thank、you
Next up, we have a two-part dance performance. First off, a solo from Miss Jingjing Du, followed by a group performance from the Ross Shepherd Traditional Chinese Dance Team. Now, these performances are from the Confucius Institute of Edmonton's 10th anniversary celebration. Miss Du actually started teaching at Ross Shepherd about five years ago, and you'll quickly see why she's been able to establish herself as a highly sought-after dance teacher in Edmonton. Enjoy.
Next, we have the Fukianese Association of Alberta, and by extension, the Fukianese Association of North America. They bring best wishes for the Lunar New Year and their rendition of Have a Beautiful Day and the God of Fortune is Here. My name is Ed Lam from the Fukinese Association of North America. 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. We wish 2021 would be a much better year. May I wish you prosperity and health in the year of the ox. Cultural and Athletic Association, under the tutelage of Shi Fu Michael Yong, strives to promote Chinese culture and instill positive values in the younger generation 
by teaching Hok San Lion Dance, Dragon Dance, Warrior Drumming, and Five Ancestor Fistyle Kung Fu. Hong De is also an official member of the International Sarping Lion Dance Confederation. Here is their warrior drumming performance to deliver spirit and energy into our lives. Hello, welcome to the Kingsway Virtual Chinese New Year 2021. My name is Michael Yong. I'm the president and chief instructor of the Hong De Cultural and Adelaide Associations. I hope you enjoy some of my performances. On behalf of Hong De, I would like to wish everyone happy Chinese New Year.
Our final performance for the day is a group singing performance led by local music teacher Carolyn, who over the past few weeks worked very, very hard to gather together members of the community and our students to put together a few songs for us. Closing us off today is a song called Zai Yi Qi, or in English, With You, or Together, as a reminder that we will get through this together. Enjoy. Yeah.
你一个急，就同时买通歌。我们在一起，无论多远，熟悉或陌生，相互需要，彼此依靠，守我的幸福。William, can you believe it's the end already? But luckily, there is still tomorrow. So come back to join us, same place, same time, here from 12 to 5 p.m. MST. Yep. Tomorrow we're gonna have more performances, more interactive games, more cultural demonstrations, and we're also gonna have two panel discussions. Um, one on Lunar New Year memories, and another on building a strong Chinese community. So detailed information and the schedule can be found on our website. Um, just click under schedule. And don't forget, our silent auction is still going on, so get bidding. Once again, thank you to our sponsor, Kingsway Mall. Happy Lunar New Year. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>